Welcome to Vivid History, bring you vivid and fascinating historical stories through colorized photos. Art theft has long been an appealing pursuit for thieves due to the immense value and global recognition of paintings. The stolen artwork can bring in millions of dollars and elevate the thief's reputation to unimaginable heights, provided they succeed. However, contrary to what movies depict, many of these heists rely more on sheer chance than skill, resulting in the unfortunate outcome of the thieves being apprehended. In 1911, a Louvre worker named Vincent Perugia stole the Mona Lisa, which had been on display in the museum since 1797. He managed to go unnoticed by wearing the same white coveralls as the other employees. Perugia removed the painting from its hanging spot, wrapped it in his coveralls, and successfully left the museum. The theft remained unsolved for two years until Perugia attempted to sell the painting to an Italian museum, claiming he had stolen it to return it to Italy. The Ghent altarpiece, considered one of the most influential works of art in history, faced a daring theft on April 10, 1934. Two panels, the Just Judges and St. John the Baptiste, were stolen from the St. Bavo Cathedral in Ghent, Belgium, and a note claiming they were taken from Germany during World War I was left in their place. Negotiations for their return took place, with one panel being returned as a show of good faith. Despite ongoing investigations and various leads, the whereabouts of the stolen panel remain a mystery to this day. In 1966, a daring art theft took place at the Dulwich Picture Gallery in London. Eight valuable paintings, including works by Rembrandt and Rubens, were stolen, worth at least $3 million. Despite a low reward of $1,000, an investigation led to the recovery of all the paintings and the conviction of one of the thieves, an out-of-work ambulance driver named Michael Hall. Interestingly, one of the stolen paintings, Jacob de Gain III, holds the record for being the most frequently stolen artwork in the world, with multiple bizarre recoveries over the years. Rusborough House, a stunning stately home in Ireland, has been repeatedly targeted by thieves due to its valuable art collection. In 1974, an IRA gang, including British heiress Rose Du Gale, broke into the house and stole 19 masterworks, demanding a ransom for their return. In 1986, Martin Cahill and his gang raided the house, taking 18 paintings, and later two more thefts occurred in 2001 and 2002 by Cahill's associate Martin Foley. Despite intensive police investigations, most of the stolen paintings have been recovered and are now displayed at the National Gallery of Ireland. During the height of his gallery in New York, Stephen Hahn's reputation as an art dealer was unmatched. However, on November 17, 1969, his gallery fell victim to a daring art theft. The thieves managed to break in through a supposedly unpickable lock and made off with seven masterpieces, worth a staggering $500,000. Ironically, at the time of the theft, Stephen Hahn was away giving a speech on art theft, unaware that his own gallery was being robbed. In 1990, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston fell victim to one of the biggest art heists in history. Two men, disguised as police officers, tricked the security guard into letting them in and then restrained him. They proceeded to remove priceless works of art, including Rembrandt's The Storm on the Sea of Galilee and Vermeer's The Concert, making this the largest art theft from a private residence ever. Despite investigations and suspicions, no one has been charged and the stolen artwork remains missing, leaving empty frames as a reminder of their absence. In 1985, 
A daring art theft took place at the Musée Marmotten in Paris. Masked men armed with pistols entered the museum and stole seven valuable paintings, including Claude Monet's famous Impression, Sunrise. The paintings were eventually recovered in 1990 in Corsica, with only minor damage to some of them. One of the most daring art thefts of the 20th century was carried out by John Tillman, a prolific art thief who stole over 10,000 pieces of art from various locations worldwide. After a lengthy investigation involving multiple international agencies, Tillman was arrested in 2013, leading to the recovery of 3,000 stolen artworks from his home. Despite being sentenced to nine years in prison, Tillman was released on parole after just two years, and it is believed that he still has more stolen art and money hidden away. The theft at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts in 1972 is another notable case, where armed men entered the museum and stole jewelry, figurines, and 18 paintings worth a total of $2 million. Only one of the stolen paintings has been recovered, and the rest remain missing to this day. The theft of Henri Matisse's odalisque in red pants remains intriguing as the exact date of the theft is unknown. In 2002, the Contemporary Art Museum in Caracas discovered that the painting on display was a fake, which had been hanging in the museum for at least two years. The case took a turn in 2012 when the FBI learned that a man in Miami was attempting to sell the stolen painting leading to the arrest of both the seller and a woman who had possessed the artwork for several years.